Hey, I'm playing Save the Last Dance for Me by Ben E. King and the Drifters. Straight from the chord charts of the Morristown Youth Jam, so take the link in the video description, download the free song sheet, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, I'll do a basic tutorial. Here it goes. You can dance, every dance for the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile. Every smile for the man who held your hand neath the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. Oh, I know that the music is fine, like sparkling wine, go and have your fun. Laugh and sing. But while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone. But don't forget who's taking you home, and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. Don't you know I love you so? Can't you feel it when we touch? so much. You can dance, go and carry on, till the night is gone and it's time to go. If he asks, if you're all alone, can he take you home, you must tell him no. Cause don't forget who's taking you home, and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. Cause don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. Fun song. Um, three chord song, C, G, F. The only uh, unusual thing I did to add a little style is a Fandango strum. You hear the beat in there. You can dance. Every dance for the guy. You kind of assume the, the girl is Latin. I don't really know. I did three different things, or you can do three different things if you want to spice that up like that. You don't have to. You can just do... You can dance, every dance for the guy, right? Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. That would be the simplest way. But if you want to do it a little different, I'll show you three different ways to do it a little different. Here's the first one. I did this in the beginning because I wanted it to be real light and sort of syncopated. That's it. Right? Instead of... In between there, I added a double upstroke. Keep your fingers separate and go across the strings. And you hear two different things, right? I'm using only these two fingers for this drum. It's mostly my index, right? And then every once in a while, not every once in a while, that, that second up, I throw in my thumb. Here it comes. You can do that, or you can do a fan strum. It is called Fandango, after all. Two different ways to do the fan strum. The way most people would do it is with all, all their fingers where they go. They have to kind of come up to the top fast to do that, but down... doing the first time down 
is all of them straight like this. And then the next one, I'm going sort of, you can either go sideways, but it sounds better if you go down and you actually fan out your fingers one at a time. So it takes longer to get, for all four fingers to get across. Right? You can practice just like that. So instead of one, it's... Last way I like to do it, lead with a pinky. After all, it has a one, two, three, right? One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. So here's my pinky, and then the one, two, three is the fan. Sometimes I come up with my thumb when I do that. Any of them work. You want to see more of this? By the way, I'm going to play the I'm going to play the start of the song in slow motion, focused uh, close up on my fingers. So if you find that uh, helpful for your chord transitions or your strumming, then stick around. Otherwise, uh, subscribe to the Morristown Uke Jam YouTube channel for lots more. Uh, check out the Morristown Uke Jam Meetup page for lots more uh, free downloadable ukulele song sheets. And come out and play with us some Wednesday. Now, slow motion, close up. Here goes. Wednesday.